So to create a design like this, we're going to use a clipping mask instead of frames. So what I want to do is get my main image that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead over and grab me a text box. So I want to use what, oops, what day, oh, day. And I want them all capital. Let it come off. Get all capital. And then I am going to change it to a chunky font. I like that little Ashley Craft Crawford. And then I am going to align it to the left. And then when I get it where I like it, what I'm going to do now is move it and size it to what I want it to show on my picture. So it's kind of spacey. So what I'm going to do is highlight it again. And I am going to take my line spacing and kind of squish it up a little bit. There we go. A little bit better. And then what I can do there, I can go ahead and make this even bigger like so. And that's what I want to do for my half. So what I'm going to do is add a new page. I'm going to control C. So I have my space, my right space. I want to and control V it on a new page. So this is what I want. So I'm going to go file download PNG. Then I'm going to just do the current page and download that. Now, once that's downloading, I'm going to go over to a site called remove BG. And I like to use this just because it's easier when doing a mask in my opinion. So what is it going to do? It's going to take the background out, but that's not what we want to do. I want to restore. So I'm going to take, get my little brush a little size a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and color it all back in because I want it back to its original state. And then it's going to fix that. And then what I want to do, I want to erase. I want to erase the letters. So what I want to do is take my little dot and make it smaller. And then I'm just going to go over the black in the words. So I'm going to do what? And this is very intuitive. And the reason I use this versus Canva, if you go in and race and restore in Canva, you're going to have to go in very manually and try to erase this stuff. And it sucks. So if you use remove BG, see how sloppy I'm doing it. It'll do it just fine. And you don't have to do all that extra, uh, really, I don't know what you call it, detail trying to get the color out. You just go in here and use it this way. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then when you got it the way you want it, what you're going to do is push done, download, and then what we're going to go is head back over to Canva. And then I am going to go and delete this one. Delete. And then I'm going to bring in my mask that we just made. So now as you can see, I'm going to lay it right on top. Like so. And then you can bring it over halfway like so. Now if sometimes from remove BG it's going to be a little bit blurry. So what you can do now is you can go over into edit. And then you're just going to upscale the image. So I usually do two or three. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. And it'll crisp that up for you. I'm going to replace that. Now that it's all nice and crispy, what I'm going to do now, because I have a white background back here and I want some color, I'm going to add a square and I'm going to pick out a color. Let's pick out, um, let's go into this like blue. Um, let's lighten the blue up a little bit, kind of make it more looking like the bubbles. And take that into a lighter blue, a couple of different blue background. And then I'm just going to change the orientation because I want from dark to light. And what I'm going to do is line that up on the edge here. And go and just line it up behind my mask to color in the rest of those letters. I'm going to go in a position and go behind like that so that fills that in. Now if you want some extra uh, like outlining kind of stuff, what you can do now is go take your mask, go into edit, go into shadows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a drop shadow. So I want to see, you might do that over the white so you can see a little bit better. See how that is? I want that to look like a solid black. So what I want to do is like go here, turn the intensity all the way up, and then move my position to where I want it to make it look. 
and take all the blur out it'll make it solid so there I go with that and I have that I can line that back up and any white or any kind of extra shadow you have on the outside of your words you can either make this bigger and fill it in like so and cover it up or if you wind up having like extra white somewhere within your design what you also can do is just use a white box and take that out and that's how you do one that way and if you need to take some more you want a little bit more white out to go over here and get that closer you can do that and then what you want to do if you want to change it out for another photo you can just delete this one oops not duplicate it mm -hmm. delete this one and let me grab this one let me grab this little dog over here control c control v position put it in between your mask there you go you can use that mask over and over and over and over again without having to do all that trying to fill it in that way and you can do other kinds of things with this you can go back in here to edit and to your shadows and do your shadows different you can uh, put that blur amount in there and kind of look at like make it look like it has oops some depth uh, depth to it so you can do all kinds of things to make it kind of look like it's got depth to it and you can still play around with this and make it even cooler and like I said if you have any extra right here just take a square like so do like that make it the color of your background like done there you go so another tip too so if you want to soften this edge piece right here grab this arrow block concave and I'm going to click one of those and then I'm going to go right here and go into corner around it and kind of round it out like so and then I am going to flip it this way and then what I'm going to do after that is going to take it like this and kind of go like this make sure it doesn't show over your letters or anything like that and then I'm going to change it to the color I'm using on my background which is white so now that softens that edge up and it's not a hard edge. So that's a little trick you can use too. And that's just another way to do it. Um, if you want to go crazy and like put a splash behind it. I know people are using this for high school mascots. So if you want to like do a splash of color behind it, let's make that um, blue. And then do something like that. You just do that, but you're going to put it behind your headpiece like so so there's all things all kinds of things you can do with that and like i said once you create one mask you can create all kinds of stuff behind it without having to keep going with your each frame for each letter and to me that just makes it easier maybe people like frames better i like mask when it comes to this i don't like to kind of nitpick and try to do each letter and try to line it up it it's a pain so that's how i do that thank you guys for stopping by and Bye, y'all.